hiding your tits. And there's Lottie hiding her tits. There's these two boys wants more milk every day because they're so much bigger now and they want more milk and look how try to get onto them <laughs> they're turning five months old guys and still on milk lot let's go I'm getting fugly guys Blan. It's goat herding time once again. Who's the biggest you think? <laughs> From the adults and the young ones. And here's my little boy. Yes, little boy. Just seconds when I let them out. It's starting to rain like it's raining in bits and there that area the sound is like heavy rain already it doesn't look like from above but it does make noise of heavy rain already it's like the cardi b front of the front porch and nothing at the back uh, now it's raining also here but it's sunny look at this shadow over here now and I'm still here herding outside. William is feeding now the birds and Chloe. Chloe pig and my goats are still not full so I'm here outside with all these coconuts <laughs> in my background and coconuts on the ground. Well that's what I want to share today. So last year I have um, gathered data or like I did some coconut profiling I cannot um, the light is just too much for me guys uh, I did some coconut profiling last year from second quarter I think that was and then until third quarter of this year but um, for fourth quarter I won't be able to put out the coconut or like to make a coconut profiling for our harvest because we are not doing any harvest coconut harvesting this fourth quarter yeah that means no bonus for me this year <laughs> uh, bonus for us here in the farm it's just crazy because like the plant that's close to us has shut down temporarily shut down i don't know like um, even my brother who works in that company lost his job so some buyers here or some traders coconut traders here um would like um not want to gamble on selling to other 
um, cities or like other places like the, the next coconut uh, processing plant here is in Davao do Sur. Hi Nigel, I know you are in that area. Nigel, hello. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the plant, the, the processing plant is in another place that's uh, three hours I think from us. So like it's more of um, it's more costly for the traders to uh, send or to sell their coconuts in that plant and the thing is right now the buying price or the buying price of these plants is so low so traders can only um, buy cheap at the farm gate price so cheap guys I stopped filming because my goats came home there's the Aussie farmer. Yeah, so really, um, the traders are still buying, but like buying it for a very low price because you know of all the complications that's brought by the low price also at the factory. And I wanna show you this, guys. Vicky, why you cry? So this is our coconuts here waiting to be dehusked. A lot of it are growing already. It's uh, matured because we should uh, be harvesting first week of December. It's now third week. We still haven't harvested and like there's so many falling already. So kind of scared for William to mow at this time because of these matured coconuts that's like really ready to fall down anytime like we've collected from II's farm from the fruit farm and here and still like every day right now like it's been a week now that it's very windy and look at these guys so many matured coconuts here even here so many matured like um five three to five bunches per tree like look at this mm. so many like usually um we have a high harvest i mean high volume of harvest in december so sometimes even if it's very low buying price in December it's still uh, okay-ish because of the volume right now the the buyer or the trader that picks up our coconut is just buying at five pesos per kilo last time it was um, I think that was eight almost eight or eight yeah eight pesos per kilo but now it's five and um, yeah that's so low like the lowest we've had is a 320 from long time ago it's long time ago yeah so no harvest guys no bonus for us this December <laughs> that's all right like we were advised to just harvest on January so that's still okay because that's in time for the taxes and um, um, for the renewal of um, or for the annual report you know when if you're an expat here in the Philippines and have a residence visa then every January you should appear there's already advisory here in Davao uh, telling uh, reminding all expats to appear for annual reports so we should prepare for that yeah so that's it for today guys bad weather like it's a sunny like early in the morning sunny and then it rained and this afternoon also before three o'clock it's like sunny and it rained Shh, goliath yeah so i have to say bye bye for now thank you for watching say goodbye
Hello, Santa. Is that Sam? Christmas. Lovely. We wish you a Merry Christmas.